We own 215 acres here at Logie Derno, but in total we run 1,000 acres with our rented ground. And our main purpose is to provide rams for the commercial market, both terminal and maternal. The benefit for commercial farmers using an EBV and performance recorded ram would be that their lambs are going to grow faster and make more profit per acre, which is going to increase efficiency over the entire enterprise. There's no question in my mind that EBVs are the future for Scottish sheep farmers. You only have to look at the pig, dairy and poultry industry to see this. So if you're going to record a weight and record a muscle depth, then it's bound to help. Estimated breeding value is a figure which shows the genetic merit of the ram that you are looking to use and shows how its offspring can perform. EBVs are pretty straightforward and I think it's always good to keep it basic. It's important for farmers when selecting a ram, first of all they're happy with the physical characteristics, feet, teeth, legs and things like that. Then they should look at the performance as they can't really tell what's underneath the skin without looking at the raw data which that lamb is performed on. I think the main traits that a commercial buyer should look at is muscle, growth, fat and this means that his lamb will grow fast and also keep the right fat and muscle depth for the weight when he's away to go to slaughter. This can mean that the lambs go off the farm far quicker which reduces feeding costs and also means that the lambs grade out better when he puts them to the abattoirs. We are at the um, North Tilney Farm, Old Meldrum, Aberdeenshire. It's a, a, basically a stock farm, it's nearly 100% grass. We have um, 300 suckler cows, 220 ewes and some feeding cattle. We started using EBVs more than 10 years ago when purchasing bulls for our farm. In about eight years ago, we started using EBVs when purchasing our tops. We decided that the lambs that we originally had, we weren't getting them away quick enough. And we decided to start using EBVs on tops. And since then, we've seen a vast improvement in the quality of lambs that we've put away and been getting them away earlier. We normally lamb in April and we're normally getting the majority of them away July, August. Our grading sheets now, we've never had such good grades for our lambs. Eight, nine years ago, we would have went to the local market and bought a top. Now we prefer to go to an on-farm sale. We go to the farm, we pick up a catalogue, we go and look at all the tops, we mark the tops that we like, and then we go back and we study the actual top and its EBVs. EBVs give us an insight into the top's history, his, his potential breeding, breeding over the years and how it helps our flock, which we can't, you can't see that by looking at it. You have to get the figures to help you with that. The traits that we look for in EBVs is um, live weight gains. To get them to, get them to the, their 20 kilos as quickly as possible, which just, well, it saves grass. It, it, it gets them away from the farm and um, helps, it, helps the whole thing work. The Scottish industry, there's no doubt that um, if we use EBVs, it might produce lamb better and, and more consistent quality for the slaughterhouse. It's bound to help us because that is, that's what this demand is. We must supply what is demanded. If that is the market, we have to supply it.